Since the game mode's release on November 10th, 2016, Hardcore Iron Man have pushed the boundaries of PVM. However, there is one place that no Hardcore Iron Man has truly conquered. No Hardcore has ever completed all of the items from the Theatre of Blood. That's where I come in. This is Hardcore Iron Man, but T.O.B. Two, because it's the second time trying. Alrighty boys, back with another Hardcore Iron Man video. Now, uh, I'm currently, currently doing the Max Cash from Scratch series with the boys. Um, and it's taken up a lot of my time and I can't really focus on this account too much. So what I'm gonna be doing for the next quite a while is fishing Karamba ones. Uh, we need a fair few Karamba ones to get to 70 cooking. Um, I still wanna make sure that I'm doing a quest every single day, so. Hopefully by the end of the Max Cash from Scratch series, I have the uh, cooking level and everything to finish off Recipe for Disaster. That's the plan. I'm going to be doing mostly AFK stuff in between farm runs and, uh, sorry, seaweed runs, not actual farm runs. Fuck that shit. Um, soon enough, we should be able to enter the farming guild, which is going to allow us to get a bunch of seeds and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully we get a buck ton of Karamba ones throughout this uh, series. We get a pretty high fishing level. What fishing level do we need to do anglerfish? 82. I think once I can get to anglerfish, I will go do anglerfish because they're the best healing food um, when you get to the high hit point levels. And like, it doesn't really matter that they cost a lot because I'm an Iron Man. If I'm going to sit there and AFK them for fucking ages, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean, boys? So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll try and get that done throughout the next couple of weeks. And um, we'll also make sure we do a quest a day. Hopefully that makes up an episode. Quests, fishing, Bob's your uncle. Holy shit, boys. I just figured out something that is a little less AFK, but a way better thing to do for this whole month or so that I'm gonna be doing the Max Cash from Scratch series. Once I get 63 Hunter, I'll go buy a fuck ton of box traps and just plant myself out of red chintz. We can only do three traps at a time, so it's gonna be AFK as shit. Oh, boys, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. We're gonna hunt red chins for a whole month. Right, boys, it has been a fucking long time since I've been on this account. I'm not gonna lie about it. The Max Cash from Scratch series uh, has just finished. We sat here with 8,491 Karamba ones, which is what we managed to fish. I really didn't AFK it much during the series. Uh, I was really, really focused on it, so I really didn't do too much AFK. In it. Am I in? Yeah, I'm in an English world. I need the fuck out of that world. Uh, I didn't do too much AFK in on it, but we are back on the account. We're ready to go and finish it off. Russian Tob as quickly as we can. What we need to do is go get ourselves some Barrows gloves. So that's the last thing we need for our max melee setup. Uh, if we go ahead and grab all of our gear out, I can show you guys. We've got a fucking decent melee setup. So as we can see, guys, we've, we've fully set up. All we need is the Barrows gloves, and we've got a complete set ready for Slayer, uh, which I'm very, very keen to get done because we need to get an occult eventually, which means we need to get ourselves 93 Slayer. Maybe even go for 95 for Hydra so we can get ourselves a Dragon Hunter Lance. Potentially. We'll see how we go. But... Uh, we need to go ahead and get those Barrows Gloves. So what we're going to do is just go ahead. I think I might just finish off all the free-to-play quests, to be honest. They're really, really easy ones that we can just punch out for some free quest points. And then on top of that, I should be able to get onto the Recipe for Disaster thing here. Yep, there it is. Beautiful. And we've got five things left. I think what I'll do is just slowly work on each one of these as they go along. We'll do the Evil Dave one, go complete Shadow of the Storm and stuff like that. And uh, just slowly work up to the gloves. So you'll probably see a fair few quests in this episode and uh, probably a fair few birdhouse runs as well, boys. Let's fucking get it. I've said it before, boys, and uh, I am most certainly to say it again. This is the worst part of the Iron Man game mode. I need a bronze medium helmet for Black Knight's Fortress, and I'm having to go mine copper and tin. Yeah. There we go, boys. Black Knight's Fortress out of the way. Gonna move on to the Corsair Curse, Demon Slayer, Doric's Quest. We'll just move down the list. Actually, while I'm in Felidor, I might as well do Doric's, yeah? I think I have all the stuff in the bank. Great idea, Jake. Saving time and money. Doric, how are you, chief? Long time no see. It's been a while. Do I have 
Ask for the anvils? Yeah, I'll give you the materials. Yeah, I got you, man. I got you fucking... You know what? Got them right here. Here you fucking go, mate. Boom. There we go. 1,300 mining XP. Oh, I, got a, I think I got a mining level from that. There we go, boys. 36 mining. Fucking get around me. Dab, dab, dab on the haters. Here we go, boys. Corsair curse done. Is that the one? Beautiful. Another two quest points. Uh, let's move on to Demon Slayer. I think that's, yep, that's all I need. Let's go. Yeah, fucking take a seat, Delrith. Oh, you just got owned, bro. Am I a PK yet? Am I, am I a PK now? Hang on a hot second, boys. I already killed the gardener. I've got the quest done. He's still here. Can I kill this guy? Someone else must have just done the quest in this, in this location. Interesting. Well, then we get ourselves a uh, cheeky another two quest points. Uh, I think next one we're going to go do is actually Romeo and Juliet. I can't be arsed on Prince Ali Rescue. It's 5 a.m. So I'm going to do Romeo and Juliet, punch that out, and then um, go to bed, most likely. Um, I do have some good news, however. Yeah? I have just completed a Romeo and Juliet. Get around me. Oh, GZ beast. Yeah, it's what's fucking, that? it's literally all happening. Uh, what's next is X marks the spot. No, Prince Ali rescue. That's what we're going for. Mm, nice. I've got to find out what I need for this. Big boy, come here. Finish the quest for me. Give me the quest points. Boom. Oh shit, three quest points. That's actually quite a bit. Right, uh, I need to go complete Shield of Rav now. Which means I need to find a fucking partner. Great. But before that, I'm going to go stock up on some more runes because we are running dangerously low and go do a birdhouse run. Let's go. We might get 63 hunter in this birdhouse run. Get around me. No, nah, that's it. I've changed my mind. I'm not doing fucking Shield of Arav. I cannot be fucked like talking to another human being right now to try and sort out a partner for this. I am going to go and do Witch's Potion. Let's go. Here we go, boys. Drink from the cauldron. Oh, this is actually going to give me a magic level. Oh, boom. There we go. 77 mage. Get the fuck around me, boys. That's another quest out of the way. X marks the spot is the last free-to-play quest apart from Shield of Arav, which I'm literally not going to do that until I have to do Heroes Quest, you know? When I'm ready for Heroes is when I'll do Shield of Arav, but I need to go and speak to Vaos in the Sheared Ram pub, the most controversial pub in RuneScape. Here we go, boys. This should be the second to last free-to-play quest done. Found this treasure. Yep, there you go. Ancient casket. All right, sort us out, geezer. Give me the fucking veils. There we go. Antique lamp. You know that is going straight into herb law. Thank you very much. 42 herb law. You love to see it. And then, what we're going to do? That's right. I'm going to go do the hand in the sand quest. Where is it? Hand in the sand. This is going to give me access to um, the Wizards Guild shop. So I can buy runes from there infinite access to nature runes and blood runes and shit like that so let's go get this one done here we go chiefs here it is boom hand in the sand done that gives us 65 crafting as well which is now going to allow us to do literally fuck all that's nice uh but more importantly it gives us access to the rune shop inside the wizard's guild i don't know why the fuck you need to do hand in the sand like that's a pretty high requirement quest quest 49 crafting is a pretty high requirement quest I don't understand, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sit here and alk all my alkables uh, while I'm... Why did I get them unnoted? I'm an idiot. I can alk noted shit. I'm so dumb. Uh, I'm just going to alk all this shit and then replace the nature runes as we go and uh, get some more mage XP. Dude, yeah, straight up. I have literally easy, medium, hard, and elite clue scrolls in the bank. Let's see if I can do them. Obviously, I can do the easy one. Medium one. Speak to the Al Karid Kebab Shop. Cool. Hard Clue Scroll. Laugh in Jockle's Tent in the Mountain Camp. Rune Full Helm, Blue DI Chaps, Fire Battle Staff. I can get all of those, so I'm going to hold on to it. Elite Clue Scroll. Desert Insects is what I see taking care of them. Dig next to the Entomologist in the Calfire area near Shantae Pass. I think I can do that. Why the fuck does a medium clue scroll have a fucking 52 Slayer requirement? That's genuinely pissed me off. I'm genuinely fuming. Fuck off. Oh, yeah. And I got the casket. I've ascended it. Are you ready for this shit? Is there anything you can get from it that's actually good? Like pages and shit. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Most of the shit is just not useful at all. 
I got a coif. Oh, that's exciting. And eight salmon and 40 mine rows. Great. I am going to go ahead and punch myself in the dick now. Here we go. Step number... Wait. Check steps. I've completed three steps. So I need to complete this one. And then the next one could be the casket. Yeah. Show this to Sherlock. That's not good news. That's actually terrible news. What is it? Oh, shirt to shirt. Yeah. Dude, if this is a crafting requirement, I'm laughing. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Activate the chivalry prayer. Oh, 60 prayer. I'm going uh, to hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it for sure. And this should be it, boys. This should be it. Mm. Boom. 63 hunter coming in. We can now hunt chin chompers, which is huge for the account. Uh, I'm probably going to slow down on the birdhouse runs from now because I would rather use all the chin chompers from 63 to 99 hunter for range. So I'm mostly going to be on chin chompers. They are relatively AFK as well, so I can do them while I play another account and stuff like that. So when I'm, you know, don't really feel like playing the hardcore, I can go get some box traps, head on down to Felder Pills, and Bob's my fucking uncle, boys. Right, boys, I absolutely cannot be bothered doing any more quests right now, so we're going to take our steel gloves out and uh, do a little bit more Slayer. We're currently assigned to kill some moss giants, so I'm just going to sling back down into the... Uh, the little cave here. So yeah, we're just going to head down into the, um, the Ezreal basement here and we'll just get our task done. Finish up the task there, grab another task. I think I'm, yeah, I'm 85 combat, so I can get a task from Neve now, which is what I think I'll do. It's either Neve or Kona. Do we get a task from Kona? Because we haven't done that many. I am so dumb, dude. I just literally... Press that out of habit. Oh my fucking god. And I looked away from the screen as well. <sighs> what is wrong with me? I mean, it's 6am. That's probably what's wrong with me, but... Fuck me sideways. Right, as I was saying, boys. Fucking hell. I think we'll go with Kona, because we can get those... Uh, we can get those brimstone keys... Decent drops on that table, and I don't have that many things unlocked, so I can't get that many shit tasks. So, yeah, I reckon we're going to go with Kona for this one. 22 Slayer coming in. Desert Lizards coming out. There we go. Boys, we've got ourselves a mossy key. I might have to go give uh, old Brio Fita a try. Yeah, fuck it. We're going we're gonna to give it a dip. Let's go. What we get? Broom Plate Skirt. That's not too bad at all, actually. I'll take it. Name a better site in the world. I will wait. I'm waiting. Right, boys. One task down. It's done. I think I am going to go and get a task from Kona now. I think that's where we'll go for our task just to in the beginning because like, we've got a pretty decent chance of getting some like good alcohols and stuff and I am pretty low on money at the moment and money is pretty much necessary for everything. We did get two more mossy keys which is really nice. Um, I'm going to save them for later though. I can't be asked right now. All right, Kona, what are you saying, chief? Kel fight in the task only Kel fight, Clive. That's a fucking normal task. You see, I like that task. That's good. Fuck yeah, let's do it, boys. I am going to go and do some quests first, though. It's time to finish off the Evil Dave part of Recipe for Disaster, which means I need, number one, a cat, and number two, I need complete Shadow of the Storm. Let's go. Bada bing, bada boom. There is the Golem quest out of the way, and now I just need to go do Shadow of the Storm. It says the final blow must be dealt with silver light, but it asked me to turn this into dark light. What? I'm so confused. You must deal the final blow to Agrathnar with silver light. I'm wielding silver light. What the fuck, man? That was so weird. Done deal, boys. There we go. Shadow of the Storm is done. Now let's go complete uh, Evil Dave's path recipe for disaster. Oh my god, guys. I was still growing a fucking kitten for death thrones before. All right. Well, I guess we're going to go and do a little bit of Slayer while we wait for the cat to grow. Fuck yeah, now. Big old 70 strength coming in here, boys. There it is, very nice. There we go, boys. There's two kills left on the task. Let me pick up a first brimstone key. I was genuinely just looking at the wiki and it's a one in one K drop. 
you just take the piss out of the way I said genuinely? Yeah. Anyway, boys, it's a one in 1K drop, and uh, I wasn't expecting one. I'll, I'm going to go see what we get for it, number one, but I want to check what I can get for it first, so let's hook in. Yo, I've just had a look at the uh, Brimstone drop rate thingo, and magic logs are a part of it. And I need magic logs for the uh, desert treasure quest. And I was literally just thinking about how I'm going to have to go get the woodcutting level for it. But if I get magic logs out of this chest, I don't need to go get the woodcutting level and I complete desert treasure. So that's definitely going to be the best drop we can get. Other than that, we can get some alcables, which is nice. Or like diamonds and fish and, and ore and stuff like that. So fingers are crossed on these magic logs right here. I got a good feeling actually. We're gonna get it. Me too. Fucking keen. Here we go, boys. Brimstone chest. Open up. Oh, we're getting one rune play legs. Great. Well, that was fucking shit. 11 black dragons. Oh my god. Yo, I've literally just run all the way around the Tavoli dungeon and then I remembered I can just go kill the baby dragons in the fucking start of the dungeon. I'm an idiot. I didn't even need to bring my fucking anti dragon shield. I was about to go kill 11 actual size black dragons. I'm a fucking twat. Black dragons done. No brimstone key. Let's go grab another one. Hopefully we can get ourselves those magic logs. Oh, I just realized two more tasks and I start getting points, boys. That's a, uh, that's pretty good. Oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake. I just noticed in the last clip, someone got some magic logs right next to me. What a fucking prick. 32 Slayer coming in, guys. And now we can kill Mogas, which normally isn't a big deal. But we can actually get the flippers from them, which makes our seaweed runs just a little bit quicker. So if we do happen to get a Mogas task and we manage to get flippers, that'd be sweet. I'm not, I don't think I'll go hunting the uh, flippers, but if they happen to come along, perfect. Okay, so my kitten grew into a cat while I was doing my uh, bronze dragon task. All right, no, no, it didn't. It, uh... It grew into a cat after I logged in on mobile and went and sat in the lounge room and watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine. But we've got a grown cat now, so we're going to go finish off the Evil Dave part of Recipe for Disaster. Let's do it. Not at a single point in playing RuneScape did I ever think I would be at Rufus's Meat Emporium buying raw meats to make stews. 64 cooking coming in from cooking the stews for the quest. Not bad, boys. And here we go, boys. This should be the stew that we need for Dave. Bada bing, bada boom. 7,000 cooking XP. Thank you very much, Dave. And there we go. As the gypsy has said here, four of the members left to protect. I think I have the requirements for most of these apart from ceramic vase. So what I think we'll do for the next episode, that is where we're going to wrap this one up, by the way. What we're going to do for the next episode is work on 70 cooking, I believe is required for the Awawogi part of the quest. And we can probably punch that one out. In fact, I think the next episode, we sort of just shoot for Barrow's gloves, right? Only issue being with the Barrow's gloves, I do need to unlock the uh, the quest. What's it called? Fuck it. Uh, uh, bloody... Um, the the um, desert treasure that's the one that's what it's called i need to do that quest i have black gloves now uh we should unlock barrows in the next one but i do need to get those magic logs considering they are a rare drop from kona i don't think i'll be doing that i think i'm just going to afk the wood cutting over the next few days and uh, get that 75 and get it that way then we can get the cooking out of the way. So I think for the most part, I'm just going to go on AFK, the old hardy right now, but things are looking on the up. Uh, we should be able to start Slayer pretty soon. Uh, like I said, I'll punch these out. We'll get Slayer done. And Bob is my fucking uncle, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to wrap it up. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will catch you guys in the next one tomorrow. Take it easy. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode in EV365. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm putting out a new video every single day this year. Don't forget to click that bell icon as well so you get notified when it comes out. If you guys really enjoyed the video, you could also leave a like. That really helps out the channel to get the videos in suggested and it's really good for channel growth. On top of that, if you are enjoying the videos and want to see some of these things get made live as they happen, I stream five days a week over on Twitch.
Crazy stuff like this goes down very often. Boys! <laughs> oh no, I know that noise. Oh, you have two! I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe! How much cash is that? 124 mil, holy fuck! <laughs> Mm. Muscles. Hey, Hiya. Disgusting. Did you just fart? It's fucking disgusting. And if you just want to keep up with my day-to-day -day wheelings and dealings, you can also follow me over on Twitter at EVScape Official. All links will be in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Point, Take oh it easy. Oh my god, I bet you're killed by a fucking bear. Oh my god.